another Queensland town in the path of disaster. Last night, you know, I kept feeling the carpet next to my bed you know, to see if there was water in my house. Laidley's main street quickly engulfed. It keeps inching up. We just don't know how, how far it'll go. Some businesses are damaged just 10 weeks after the previous flood. We have to start from square one again. Local authorities surprised at how quickly the water rose. Our crews are currently conducting a number of rescues on the far side of town. This man was plucked from his car, saved from the swirling torrent. Another crew battled the tide, checking no one was trapped. It is about the preservation of life. It's reminding people to not be complacent, to make really smart decisions. Never go through flood water because if you do, you might get stuck. Children got the message, but some adults didn't. Further west, it's the railway bridge at Grantham. The town, deeply traumatised in 2011, was wrenched awake by an emergency siren. You kind of jump out of bed because we're like, are we lapping in water? The Godleys haven't recovered from February's flood. Their children have moved away. Our daughter, she she couldn't handle the trauma anymore. She's, she's had 11 years of trauma. Some Gatton residents are cut off. A little bit of anxiety, I think, in general, um, across the community. The region is also a food bowl and winter crops are waterlogged. It's going to be affecting every farmer and every worker as well. The rain was set to ease today, but forecasters believe that won't happen for another 24 hours. Local authorities fear falls like what we saw here in Laidley last night could be disastrous for the region. This is very much an evolving situation and we really want people to be across all of the warnings. Further south, flood water is expected to peak in Warwick tonight. Parts of the town are already under. While devastating for those in the firing line, the damage isn't expected to be as widespread as last time. Please don't be anxious. The key thing is to be listening to the alerts. This is a very unusual time of the year to have a severe weather event of this nature. The timing is unusual, but the heartbreak is familiar. Laura Lavelle, ABC News, Laidley. Going under again, low-lying roads in Brisbane suburbs like Oxley are cut, stranding those who thought they could make it through. And that's ridiculous. You can see how flooded it is. Why would you bother going in there and risk your life and your car? Residents are hoping they aren't in for another major flood. It's quite bad, but nowhere near as bad as it was in February. That's what the Premier is saying too. We are not expecting the Brisbane River to reach beyond minor flood level, which is good at this stage. Wyvernhoe Dam is at 110%. Earlier this year, it was at 185%. So there's still plenty of flood storage that's available. The Bremer River at Ipswich is raging. It's really high. It's up to the bridge, under the bridge, so... I was worried not that I wouldn't get home. Here in Gympie, the Mary River is again in floods. Some businesses and residents in low-lying areas have already started to evacuate. The question is, how high will the water reach? Who knows, really? This art gallery is one of the 800 homes and businesses in Gympie that went under in February. They're packing up and moving what's left. It's frustrating and it's, it's unnerving. The Royal Hotel had $2 million worth of damage last time. This is the rest of our stuff that we saved from the previous flood. So we're just trying to prevent having to go through that again. This peak is expected to be lower, but it could get to as high as 16 metres. At those points, we don't have many homes that are inundated. It's, it's mainly businesses that, that suffer the effects at that point. Last night, a man was rescued from his car after it plunged into flood waters at nearby Mother Mountain. Downstream Maraburra is also on alert. Based upon all the models provided by the Bureau of Meteorology, we do not need to erect the levee. It won't get that high, but we are continuing to monitor that. Meg Bolton, ABC News, Gympie.